The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Beverly. Produced by Lynn King. Well, hello. We are here with Gina Lawrence Freeman from the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, and she has some exciting news that is actually for people in the whole region. It's not just for Madison, Indiana. And what is that wonderful thing that you all are getting ready to do? We are so excited. We are going to start a satellite program in Trimble County, Kentucky. Oh, I can't wait to, I'm excited about it. I can tell you, we've we've had uh, a lot of people help kids there and uh, we could use more, so that's wonderful. I was so excited. Um, last summer, I had some people give me a call from Trimble County right. and they really wanted to be able to take the program Big Brothers Big Sisters over there. Right. And it's taken a while, but we yes. uh, were able to go through our national um, organization right. and so they called me probably two weeks ago and said, oh, yes. it's a go. You've got Triple County. <laughs> this is great. I mean, we've been trying for a long time to get this done, so that's wonderful. Now, as far as this program goes, what is it going to do to, how will that benefit the Trimble County students? You know, what is the biggest thing that it will help with? Well, we'll be uh, putting them, we'll be taking the children who are eligible for the program. Yes. And we'll be matching them with a positive mentor. And we'll be starting with our school base. Yes. So we'll have mentors go into the school, meet with a child for one hour, one day a week. Oh, wow. And um, they'll maybe meet at lunchtime. They, you know, will be able just to talk, kind of see what's going on with them. They could play games. They right. could help with maybe some homework. And what this leads into is our community base. Right. And we did this with Carroll County, Kentucky, which we also have a satellite in. Right. Well, that's wonderful. And so... They can become as involved as they'd like to, or they can stick with the school-based program. Absolutely. If they want to do the more involved, that would be the community program, wouldn't it? That's right. And the community is where they meet with their little. They go pick them up at their house. Yes. And they meet with them for um, maybe two or three hours, right. at least twice a month. Oh. And it's easy things, you know, you just do. You maybe go for a walk, go fly a kite. Right. Go to the store. Go wash your car. Yeah, it's funny when I was talking to the Trimble County people, they're like, well, we always come to Madison. I said, there you go. <laughs> you well, they can do that. You know, you can come and get ice cream. You have a Dairy Queen there in yes, Trimble County. we do. There's a lot of things that you don't think that a kid would like to do. Right. But the children that we're dealing with, a lot of them are in single parent homes. Yes. And we were seeing in Trimble County, as well as the surrounding counties, a lot of grandparents are raising their grandkids. They are. And this is an opportunity for, you know, grandma to say, I'm so glad that I have another person in my child's life that can take them and do things that yes. I'm not capable of doing. Well, and two, it gives them an opportunity to go and do things that they're not able to do because they have their grandchildren with them. It kind of gives them a little relief. And it, it does. It's support. And um, so I've... Um, it, it's great because um, I went over and I spoke with the Rotary Club. Yes. So I met the Rotarians over there, and I know they are, you know, backing us a hundred percent. And it, just the feel and the excitement over there right. is just wonderful. Well, I'm sure you'll have some people volunteer from the Rotary Club when we were doing the um, tutoring program with the judo team at the middle school. We would uh, tutor a lot of the kids before judo practice, and some of those people from Rotary and different people in the community would come and actually do the tutoring. So we didn't really have a Big Brothers Big Sisters, but we had a, a mentor program then. And so this is great. This is going to take up that slack. It is, and the great thing about our program, it's one-to-one -one mentoring, and that's yes. what makes us different. We are um, affiliated with our na the national agency, right? And um, we do extensive background checks on people. That's very and important. Everybody says, "Oh, the school ran a background check on me," or so and so, and I said, "Nope." We do our own. We yes. do an extensive federal, state, county yes. wide, you know, background check. So we want to make sure it's all about the kids and the yes. kids being safe. Yes. And that's important because they already have too much to deal with as it is. They do. So. And uh, so I'm looking forward to it. And I know that, like I said, Trimble County, we are going to be um, getting over there and working hard as far as finding volunteers for these children. Yes. There's the need, and we want to make sure that these kids are, you know, getting the mentors. And just it's just a way for us to say, okay, kids, 
here's somebody else that appreciates you yes. and wants to spend time and with that you. cares and so there's three different ways they can actually help with this program they can either donate funds which is very needed or you can donate an hour of your time and go to the school or you can do the community base and donate more of your time whatever whatever you're available for so there's three different ways that they can do it there is and you know the the best way like I said is to spend time with those kids oh yes and you know we do we are a not-for-profit yes and what makes us a different not-for-profit let's try to explain you know we don't charge for any of our services right we don't charge to do background checks. We don't charge for anything for the kids. So it's all through donations, fundraising, right. and grants. Yes. And anything you can do to help this program, it would be greatly appreciated. So however you can do it, you need to try to get in there and help out a little bit. So is there anything else we need to tell people? Obviously, contact information if they want to call to be a big brother, big sister. Absolutely. Right now, you can call our office here in Madison. First of all, we're located at 702 Elm Street um, in Madison. And our phone number is 812-273-0797. And the, and the office, if you know where the library is in Madison on Main Street, you turn right there by the library and just go down the hill and they're on the right. So they're easy to find. Can't miss us. Our door's no. all decorated. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is all decorated and I didn't miss it. So. <laughs> so, well, is there anything else we need to make sure people know? Um, just remember that a lot of people say, oh, I just don't have the time. But when you think about one hour out of your day, you know yeah I mean what do you you know sometimes you're watching TV or and that's once a week right? yeah that's once a week once a week for an hour you can you can make an hour yeah I do believe so <laughs> I believe so too well this is great well thank you so much for being with us thank we you, really Debbie. appreciate it so make sure you uh, check this out see how you can help out with the kids thanks for watching <laughs>